So if some of the encounters are actually representing alien civilizations visiting us, why do you think they're doing so? The, you suggested that perhaps it's to study and understand their own past, right? Right. What, what, what are some of the motivations, do you think? And again, from, from our perspective, us as humans, what motivations would we have when we approach other civilizations we might discover in the future? Well, I think one motivation might be to steer us away from the precipice, right? Or on the assumption that, you know, even if we make it past the precipice, at least uh, we're not a bunch of psychopaths, you know, running around. So maybe there's a little bit of motivation there to make sure that your the neighbor that's growing up next to you is not, you know, unruly. Um, you know, but I mean, maybe it's sort of a moral imperative, like what we have with, you know, creating uh, national parks where animals can continue to live out their lives in a natural way. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I mean, that would be, I mean, the problem is we're imagining from a anthropomorphic viewpoint what an alien might think. And as I've said before, alien means alien, right? I mean, not Hollywood aliens, but a whole different way of thinking and a whole different level of experience and let's say wisdom, hopefully, uh, that we could only hope to understand. 